Hi everyone, it's Anne Emery with an Excel tutorial for evaluators. This video is about conditional formatting, and in particular it's about highlighting cells. I'm going to make several videos about conditional formatting because it's one of the most helpful yet underused features of Excel. Let's get started. So look at my tabs down here. I have my raw data here separate from my clean data. Here's my clean data, and this is just general satisfaction survey data at the end of a program. It's real data from one of my programs. There's 25 questions. I have ID numbers of one column, just some fake demographic data that I made up, and then the actual questions here on an agree-disagree scale. So before I start actually analyzing my data, I like to do a little bit of exploring with conditional formatting. So if you go under the Home tab and you click this icon, Conditional Formatting, there are a lot of choices here that you can use. So this video just focuses on highlight cells. So first what you do is you highlight all of your data, this whole section in here. We'll click on Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cells Rules, and we're going to use the Equal To option. And I like to color code my cells just to kind of give it a quick little test and see what it looks like, see if there are any patterns. So let's make the Strongly Agree uh, options right here. We don't want them red, let's do them green. So Strongly Agree in green. Okay, and let's do, let's see, let's put the Agree options. We could also put them in green, because that's a good answer. Let's do disagree in red. And I'm not sure if there were any strongly disagree responses. I think there are just a couple. Okay, so what do we see overall just within that little 10 second analysis? Most people answered positively on this survey. So what we're gonna do is distinguish a little bit further. Let's clear this out, clear rules from the entire sheet and we'll start over. So now we're going to just distinguish between strongly agree and agree because, you know, that's that's mostly what you get in a survey. You want to look at the difference between strongly agrees and agrees. So let's do strongly agree oops, in green. That's the best possible answer. And let's do agree in, let's do yellow. And disagree in red, and we'll do strongly disagree in red as well. Okay, so this is a little bit more telling. Look what we have as we zoom out. Let's sort this a little bit. So we have a lot of people at the top, maybe the first five or ten people, who tended to agree on almost every single question. Then we have a lot of people down here who tended to strongly agree with every single question. So you know, no matter what the results look like overall across our entire group, that's pretty telling to know that certain people just tend to strongly agree with everything or just agree with everything. And then you also have somebody in here, where is it, this person, who tended to disagree a little bit. So what I call this is the curmudgeon effect where no matter how great your program was, mm, a few people are going to disagree with pretty much everything you say on the satisfaction survey. So. Now I just kind of know maybe this person's responses I need to take with a grain of salt. And this just gives me some good, um, you know, high level information as I go about analyzing the data later. So I hope you enjoyed learning about highlighting cells. Thank you.